Hello everyone, today I want to share with you a uh, plugin that I have developed today. Yes, you're right, this is the third plugin in a week, and this is so far the most powerful plugin that I have developed. I am so excited to share this with you. Um, so, but uh, before going into my plugin, I want to share with you my website as well. This is my web portfolio. Uh, it is made using Obsidian Published. Um, it introduced some basic information about myself. Uh, for example, I'm a Christian and I'm also a software engineer. And it talks about why I want to develop uh, webs this website and how I structure my website uh, according to my philosophy. There are a lot of knowledge uh, inside um, this website and I am sure that um, this website will benefit you and many people and yeah if you like my plugins and if you and you like my website you can uh, leave me a message uh, in the YouTube videos or um, through this form so let's go back to my plugin uh, this plugin is called obsidian run and it generates markdown from JavaScript. Uh, how it works is super simple. Uh, first, you install this plugin uh, through the community plugin, and then it only has one option, which is generate metadata, which doesn't affect uh, how you use it at all. Um, yeah, I have some uh, sample code here already, but uh, yeah, we can first under that understand how, how it works by uh, its syntax. Uh, you need to define a starting tag, which is run start and then come with a JavaScript expression. Um, here it explains more about the starting tag syntax, which is run start ID expressions. The ID here is automatically generated. Um, it is not required. Uh, and even if you change it, for example, you change it to three here, it will become one again because it basically it counts how many run block are there in the file and generates this ID and you don't have to uh, handle this ID at all. Um, so for example, you have run start uh, three plus four, then when you click save, it will generate seven. Um, yes. Oh, there's a little bug here. Um, I don't know why it should be this should be zero and this should be one. Um, but yeah, this is a, a minor bug. Um, so, uh, how does it work? Is that you can also, uh, uh, beside uh, uh, defining inline expression, you can also define multiple line expression inside a code block. Um, this make it really interesting because. Uh, you can have very complex uh, JavaScript operation here. But notice that if you uh, use the code block, uh, you must define a return statement, otherwise it will be undefined. See that? Yeah, otherwise it will be undefined. Um, the most powerful thing about this plugin is, uh, there are two powerful things actually. The first thing is that you can access the um, the file object and also uh, the data view object if you have the uh, data view plugin enabled. Uh, I can demonstrate how you access the uh, the file object first. The file object is basically the T file object from the um, from the Obsidian uh, API. So you can uh, get the base name, get the extension, uh, things like that. You can see that if I get the base name, it is the uh, file uh, file name of this file. Uh, if you get the parents dot path. It is the current uh, file path, uh, uh, fold, yeah, the folder path. Um, yeah, you can also define it in the uh, multiple line expression. You can see that 
you can also do something like this haha -ha. yeah you, you you can see that it is very powerful already uh if if uh if one code block has error no worry it will it will not break your whole app uh for example if you write throw error here yeah you can see that other block will still uh generate as normal you can see that now it become four and then you can see that okay there's one promise uh error and then complete the three out of five because there's uh five code block here already uh so yeah basically um it is very complete um if you want to see the error so so that you can debug it uh, make sure you enable this uh, uh, generate ending tag metadata what it does is that is that uh, see uh, it will give uh, run uh, some metadata in the ending tag for example um, you can see the last update of this uh, run block uh, if there's error you can see that uh, uh, this haha uh, yeah there's there, there's 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 a there's a error which is test uh the good thing about um uh why why this uh plugin is so complete is that um if you have error in a one block it will not override the previous um uh, previous content what it means uh for example this is the previous content right and then now you can see that the error is gone right but if I now I throw new error here yeah you can see that okay there's some uh, formatting issue uh, it's good to know uh, now you can see that uh, the last update is not changed and the previous content is still here uh, but you can uh, view the error um, the next and another way to debug your um, to debug your JavaScript is to use the developer tool. You can see that uh, if you throw a new error here, it will uh, there's a new error. Um, yeah, there's a new error here. Uh, in in the developer tool, so it is very easy for you to debug uh your JavaScript. Um, yeah, but I prefer um turning off this metadata because it will be easier to look um yeah you may be another you may be interested in this block already because you can see that there's a promise one right uh why there's a promise one is because this plugin it can handle async data fetching uh how it fetch data is that you can use the request function from the obsidian api um if you use the no uh, fetch uh, API, it doesn't work because there's a course issue and it, it, you can only do that using um, the request, uh, the provided request function. So how it works is that uh, it, it will call promise and then uh, it will resolve the promise uh, when the data is fetched. And this operation is uh, is async and it is non-blocking, which means that uh, other code will be uh, other contents will be generated first, um, and then resolve this uh, promise. Um, finally, I want to talk about one more usage which I found uh, very useful, is that um, uh, let's let do this first. I write I, I write a code block return something and to see if it works yeah it works right um one uh one uh usage is that i can generate um data view query uh um yeah i can make data view query into markdown uh for example i want to fetch all the files uh um uh, which is tagged with AI image and then uh, create a list of links. How, how can I do that? Is that I can uh, use the DV markdown list and then DV.pages 
uh, get all the tags and then I map it into different links. Oh, page, page dot file dot link. Yeah, you can see that now it generates uh, all the um, all the file with this, uh, which is tagged with AI image, which is really cool. And to know more to know more about uh, how you generate uh, the uh, yeah the things you can yeah you can how to generate markdown using data view you can check out the data view doc. Uh, it is really powerful. Yeah. Uh, it and it is real time too. For example, if you remove this tag go back yeah you can see that one file is removed yeah um i will update the doc uh continuously and like fix bug as well um if you have any issue uh with uh with this plugin make sure that you open uh, github issue if you like this video uh please like and subscribe leave a comment to me uh, to let me know how how do you think about this plugin and then also um, please leave a star in my github repo uh, thank you